Well, good morning, folks. Today is Wednesday, April 14th. It's another remote day of learning here at Foxcroft Academy. And these are your morning announcements. I'm Mr. Nelson with you this morning, and there are plenty of announcements to get to, so let's get right at it, don't we? We'll start with a Friday is a half day of school for TCTC students only. So if you're in TCTC, you have a half day of school on Friday, April 16th. The rest of us will go a full day and then get into vacation following that. So a half day for TCTC students. Attention seniors, trustee scholarship applications. They are due to counseling services this Friday, April 16th at 3 p.m. No extensions. And they need to be in by uh, April vacation so we can start going through the process of looking at these trustee ap the scholarship applications. Uh, get them in. There's a lot of money to be had for uh, graduating seniors here at Foxcroft Academy and a great opportunity to help pay for college next year. Get those into counseling services uh, by Friday, April 16th. A reminder that school rules are still in effect, folks, as you walk through the halls here at Foxcroft Academy. No hats in the building. Take them off when you get in the school. And cell phones. Put them away when you get here to school. Uh, we don't need them in the hallways. Don't need them in the classrooms. Put them away, and it'll be much easier uh, here at F.A. Congratulations to the Foxcroft Academy Key Club on placing first for the Yearly Achievement Award in the Bronze Division. Also, due to the hard work of the FA Key Club, they were awarded the Diamond Distinguished Designation, which only 50 awards are given nationally uh, for this honor. Eight clubs uh, won them in New England. Congratulations to Mr. Ralston and all of the FA Key Clubbers for your tremendous work uh, throughout this pandemic and as well uh, as before and obviously coming up after. Foxcroft Academy is uh, pleased to announce our Students of the Month for the month of March. I want to congratulate Spencer Carey, Chelsea Kincaid, uh, May Horton, Alice Doan, Dakota Richardson, Casey Howell, and Samantha Lancaster. Congratulations, you are Students of the Month for the month of March, which just finished up last week. Also, congratulations goes out to our Foxcroft Academy eSports team. They head into their next match on Thursday. The team right now is currently ranked 5th out of 29 teams here in the state. Congratulations to you guys, and good luck in your next match on Thursday. Good luck, ponies. If you're in need of some community service hours, here's a great opportunity for you. Our 5th annual Day of Giving is on Thursday, March, uh, Thursday, May 13th, excuse me. And Mrs. Hall out in the uh, development office is looking for your help, as with part of our Day of Giving is a phone-a-thon. It runs from 6.30 to 9.30 at night. This is open to Foxcroft Academy students. Faculty can help as well, volunteer your time if you would like to. But for students, you would get valuable community service hours, and there's free pizza as well. So, hey, pizza talks, right? Contact Mrs. Hall for more details. This, again, is on Thursday, May 13th. So coming up in less than a month. We raised $8,000 in 2019. We'd like to match that, if not do better this year. And with your help, we can do that. See Mrs. Hall out in uh, counseling, out in um, the development office. Um, students, if you are 16 years or older, you qualify for a COVID-19 vaccination, you can go to covid.northernlighthealth.org and register. If you are 16 or 17, you'll need parental permission. If you're 18 and up, you can just sign up right off the portal. Go to covid.northernlighthealth.org and sign up today. Uh, notes from Counseling Services, they want to know what you're doing next year. So if you know what your school plans are, if you're going out into the workforce, if you're going into the military, please let your counselors know. We'd like to uh, sing your praises. Also, folks, uh, seniors, uh, I sent out an email yesterday. We'd like to do a small video project. So please, if you would, send me your selfie video telling me your name, what you're planning on doing next year, and what you'd like to do following uh, post-secondary uh, education, or if you're going out of the workforce, let me know what you want to do, and we'll put together that, put together these videos as part of a, a little project. The Piscataquis Regional YMCA has openings for lifeguards at the Y and also at the Public Beach this summer, and they're holding a training uh, course over April vacation. If you're interested, contact the Piscataquis Regional YMCA, 564-7111, and get signed up today. Any seniors looking for uh, employment after graduation? PQ Controls, a company here in Dover Foxcroft, is looking to hire full and part-time employees. Starting pay is $15 an hour for full-time employees and medical benefits as well. If you're interested, just check it out. Uh, check out Counseling Services and they'll give you more details. And one more employment note, Valley Brook Electric in Bowerbank is looking for helpers and possibly apprentices. Uh, they work mostly in Piscataquis and Penobscot County. They do commercial, residential, and industrial electrical work. See Counseling Services uh, for more information. So plenty of great information there. 
And one final note, students, make sure that your parents respond to the survey that Mr. Pratt sent to them via email as to whether you are coming back full-time on Monday, April 26th, or if you are going to stay remote. We need to figure out space for our classrooms as we come back. And a reminder, yes, vacation is next week. When we return on Monday, April 26th, both cohorts will be here at the same time as Pony and Pride will go away. We just become Foxcroft Academy. Uh, once again, we'll still have the remote cohort. There's some flexibility as well uh, with parental permission. But check out that survey and get the results back to Mr. Pratt. That's all the announcements I have on the sheet this morning. And I'll tell you what, there are plenty of them here this morning. But there's one more announcement. The senior class, they continue their senior calendar raffle to benefit the project graduation coming up after graduation this year. And the winners from April 8th to April 14th will be revealed right now. The winner of April 8th is Lise May. Alrighty. The winner for April 9th is Brenda Grant. Congratulations, Brenda. Alright. The winner is Holly Kishpa. The winner of April 11th is Matt Preble. The winner for April 12th is... Heather Witten. The winner of the April 13th drawing is T. Robinson. The winner for April 14th is Owen White. Thank you, seniors, and thank you, helpers, for telling us who won uh, April 8th the 14th. I don't see Mr. Nelson on that list. Hey, maybe next week. So those are the announcements for April 14th. Want to wish you a great day. Want to wish you a happy vacation. And ride on, ponies.